Welcome back all of you, Nana here. And then in this record, we are going to see about how to cheat Oracle on vision instances actually. So I'll not go on and have a look at it about what I'm telling you. So you're getting some password to log in actually. Fine. So let's say in one of the instances, you got a password. So once when uh, you get a password, the password is like a Draupadi. Fine. It is uh, common for all users actually. Mm -hmm. So if you go on and see, there are many, many more than hundreds of users that are available. For CRM, you can use the CRM dot student one up to 50. 50 users as available. Similarly for the finance, and then similarly for the procurement, and then similarly for the SCM, and then project portfolio management. So these are all ready-made users on the vision instances for which the password is going to be common, actually. And then apart from that, you will be creating your own Oracle. <clears throat> so sometimes what Oracle does is that they want to stop the misuse, actually. So, uh, so most of the time we have to cheat Oracle, actually. So what they will do is they will now reset the passwords of all the ready-made users as well as your created users. So once when it is done, then you will not be able to log in with any of the users as well as your created users also. So at the time, what you have to do is you go there and then we will not take up one of the users now. Let us say I will not take crm.student06 now. Fine. Let us say one of the users I'm going to take now. crm.student06 now. Fine. So I will not go to this place. <clears throat> so this is the first way of cheating Oracle actually. Other than this is the only way. <clears throat> I'm going to tools. And then I go to what? The secondary console. So go there. I will not query this is CRM. Fine. Go to the users. No fine. Click on the users and then query for the CRM dot let us say student 06. 06 fine. I will not query this. I'm going to query fine. Click on it. And then here I go there, click on open it up. And then I'm going to edit now. Fine. Click on edit. I will not edit it. And then I will not change the email to my email ID. Chup chop curls. Fine. I will not say n for nana at the rate gmail.com. So Oracle doesn't see the inside changes actually. That is another big advantage for us. So now for the ready-made users, I have changed the email to my email. I click on save and close. And then to stop misuse, what they will do is they will now reset all the passwords of the ready-made users as well as your created users. So at the time, what you do is you go there. So your all the passwords are lost actually. So what you do is, I will not say it is now lost. So I sign up. So now, what they will do is uh, uh, even nobody can log in. So they will not give a new password and then only for the people uh, who are having an access to the Oracle instances, they will only have it, not others actually. Now we have reset the crm.student06 now fine, to with our email ID. So you log out of it and then give a forgot password. Right? So once when you give a forgot password, for this email ID, they will not send a reset link. It will not send a reset link actually. <clears throat> so click on it. I will not go there. I will not I will just sign out. <laughs> I'll click on it and then let me sign out. I click on confirm and then sign up. So here I click on the forgot password in the bottom. I click on the forgot password and then here I will now say CRM dot student 06. So that is the username. I click on the forgot password. So once you do it, what happens? I click on submit and Oracle doesn't know that you have changed the email ID actually, that they don't know. Fine. So we had to take advantage of their ignorance actually. So go there. Not, so we'll not go and then log in with my user now. Fine. Right? Nana. No. Fine. Right? I will not go there. I will not. What happens? Open my N for Nana mail ID. So if you click on what happens, you'll be getting a reset link on the mail. So I got a reset link and password reset information. So I will not click on it because already the original password is lost. And so what happens? We got recent information. Fine. Right? Click on it. And then go there. And then I will not put a new password. <clears throat> and then go there. To go there and then sign submit. So once you submit, the password gets reset. <laughs> now I can log in <laughs> into the system with what? With my this thing. Right? I will not put what CRM dot uh, student 06 and then with my newly created password. So go there and then sign in. I can very well sign in. So we are now signing into the system. So even though they have reset all the passwords of all the users, the ready-made users as well as your created users, now we have got a what happens a workaround to what happens a go inside via the other means. <clears throat> so this is one way they do it. They reset all the passwords of ready-made users as well as your created users. The second one is what they even purge all the data also. <clears throat> you might have created inventory or like A01 underscore INV1 and then INV2, INV3 like that, you might have created. So, so many data items, <coughs> orgs, sub inventories, and so many purchase orders. So, they will not purge all the data. Fine, that is a bad problem. What to do? But again, at the time also, what happens? They will not go there and then uh, what happens? 
change the uh, email IDs of all the users now, ready made users, right? So one of the, uh, what happens, we are now doing CRM.student06, we are changing the email ID. So, but uh, they will not go on and check the directory. They either, they if they only, what happens, uh, change all the uh, passwords, it is easy because we can log in and then we can start to change our password. And then afterwards, what happens, we can very well uh, uh, work on it. But if they purge the data, then data is lost. So again, what about, at least you have the instance with you, fine. Right? You can even go inside and then forgot password and then go inside and then create the data again. But at least instance is there. The third activity is what? They will now clone the instance. If they clone the instance, all the users will be set with the ready-made passwords. So at the time, what happens? It is totally lost. In the third type, third type of activity, if they clone it, we cannot do anything at all. So for the first two, if they change only the passwords, and then, or otherwise, if you, what happens? The per the data also, you still have an access to the instance actually. I hope that this is clear now, fine. <clears throat> and then uh, uh, I, a small marketing activity, fine, for that. I'm now selling my classroom records, fine, at this place, no, fine. OracleNona.com slash SCM, fine. OracleNona.com slash SCM is the one, fine. And so this is the place where I'm selling my classroom records, actually. So I mainly sell what? Uh, my inventory, fine. Fusion inventory, product data hub, fusion procurement, and then fusion order management. The main models. And then I have uh, a pack of 21 modules included in this, no, fine. So this 21 modules, Will now have what if you there is a link here in the top right. I will now right click and then open the link and then you have So this will tell you about what all things you're going to get. You I will not opening thank you. I will not click on it straight away. If you click on it, there's no opening one second. Right? So here 13 are my modules. And I have contacted the training on all the six for which you will not get both documents and records. 13 are mine, you will not get both the documents and reports. But the remaining eight, I don't have any documentation. They're all given by my students actually. So you will not get only records actually. Only the video records you will get. I don't have any documents for this. But this is a very cheap one because you're getting 21 modules for a price of 9,000 actually. Right? You'll be getting a lot. So approximately, uh, what happens, uh, uh, you are uh, you will be getting 140 GB of uh, what happens, I think. I will be giving you two weeks time to download everything. And then, uh, <laughs> go there. And then uh, my teaching is really very excellent. And then you can even see the look at the agenda. You know. So inventory product, you can even look at the agenda and then see whether it is not satisfactory or not. And then uh, uh, I recently conducted Fusion Basics, basically. Fine. There are seven topics for that. So uh, that is also uh, on sale actually. And then the self-service procurement, uh, uh, if somebody is interested, they can even pay 600 and then get it actually. And you can even pay via PayPal also. PayPal is slightly expensive because they charge me 18% GST actually. Whereas uh, when I do via the payment gateway, they don't charge. The, the GST is only on the service charges and not on the money actually. So it's very less actually. <laughs> Whatever service charges, they charge 18%. So that is miss. So I absorb it actually. When the service charges, everything I'm absorbing, I'm not passing on to this. But here I pass on to the people because they charge the flat 18% on the amount. Right? So that is why 15 US is not $600, but it's slightly high. So likewise, what happens? You have even the PayPal option, those who are want to pay, pay, make a payment outside India actually. So I have even the eBiz records. So I even sell a pack of eBiz records for 5,000. So if you want it, automatically you can write to me. Actually. Fine. So this is my WhatsApp number. Fine. And then you send a screenshot to me after the, whatever the payment is made. And my, 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 I am the cheapest person on the earth and Mars. You know, you won't find this much of a stuff, the quality stuff available at such a small price actually. And you can even watch a sample record and then you can now see, this will explain you about how my website is organized actually. <clears throat> you can watch it. So I hope that you understood this uh, cheating Oracle instances fine by uh, changing the email ID of the ready-made users. Okay, fine. Bye for now. And then we'll meet on some other video. Bye-bye.